Did you know, Ethiopia is the only African country that has never been colonized? How did this unique nation manage to preserve its rich culture and history? Imagine a nation, a beacon of independence, standing tall amidst a continent swept by the waves of colonization. This is Ethiopia, a country that has proudly held on to its sovereignty, making it an extraordinary exception in Africa's colonial history. Its resilience and steadfast refusal to surrender to foreign domination is a testament to the unyielding spirit of its people. Ethiopia's journey through history is not just a tale of survival, but also of a thriving, vibrant civilization that dates back thousands of years. Its ancient roots are deeply intertwined with the very fabric of human history. Its capital, Addis Ababa, is often referred to as the cradle of humanity, due to the discovery of the oldest known human fossils in the region, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of human evolution. Yet, Ethiopia's historical significance extends far beyond these early beginnings. During the reign of the Aksumite Empire, around the same time Rome and Greece were shaping Western civilization, Ethiopia was a powerful and influential entity. Its strategic location along the Red Sea trade routes allowed it to amass wealth and influence, becoming a key player in the ancient world. The legacy of this ancient civilization is still evident today with Ethiopia boasting nine UNESCO World Heritage Sites, more than any other country in Africa. From the rock-hewn churches of Lalibela, to the Stelae fields of Aksum, these sites offer a glimpse into a past where Ethiopia stood shoulder to shoulder with the great empires of the ancient world. Ethiopia's remarkable history is not just a tale of ancient empires and archaeological treasures, but also of a culture that has remained largely untouched by external influences. The country's unique Amharic language, its distinctive script and its deeply held Orthodox Christian faith, all point to a nation that has managed to safeguard its cultural heritage in a world increasingly homogenized by globalization. So now that we've set the stage with a glimpse of Ethiopia's fascinating past, let's journey into the heart of this timeless nation. Ever felt like you needed more hours in a day? Well in Ethiopia, there actually are. Now, before you start packing your bags, let's unravel this intriguing concept of time as it exists in this East African nation. Ethiopia operates on a unique calendar system known as the Ethiopian calendar, which is roughly seven years behind the Gregorian calendar that most of the world follows. This calendar, deeply rooted in the country's Coptic Christian traditions, comprises 13 months. Yes, you heard it right. 13. 12 of these months have 30 days each while the 13th month called Pagum has 5 or 6 days depending on whether it's a leap year or not. But the peculiarities don't stop there. The Ethiopian New Year, or Enkutatash, doesn't fall on January 1st. Instead, it's celebrated with much fervor on Meskarim 1st, which corresponds to September 11th or 12th in the Gregorian calendar. Imagine ringing in the new year amidst the bloom of daisies, a common sight during this period symbolizing renewal and optimism. Now you might be wondering, how does this different sense of time impact the daily life and culture of the Ethiopian people? Well in many ways. For instance if you were to schedule a meeting for 7 o'clock Ethiopian time, you'd be arriving at 1 o'clock by the Gregorian clock. This is because the Ethiopian day starts at dawn, or what we would consider 6 o'clock in the morning. This unique timekeeping system is so ingrained in the culture that it's reflected in everything from business operations to social gatherings. So while the rest of the world rushes against the clock, Ethiopia marches to the beat of its own drum, embracing a different rhythm of life. Here, time isn't something to be conquered or controlled, but rather, it's a natural flow to be respected and enjoyed. In Ethiopia time takes on a different meaning, but that's not all that sets this country apart, prepare to discover more. Ready to tantalize your taste buds? Ethiopian cuisine is a feast for the senses. Imagine a symphony of flavors, a blend of spices, and an array of textures that play a tantalizing tune on your palate. That's Ethiopian cuisine for you. Its culinary landscape is as diverse and vibrant as its people and every dish tells a story. Take injera for example. This spongy sourdough flatbread is more than just a staple food. It's a plate, a utensil and a food all in one. Made from the ancient grain, tef injera is served with a variety of stews and salads, all of which are scooped up with pieces of the bread. Its unique texture and tangy taste make it the perfect companion for the spicy and flavorful dishes it accompanies. Then there's Dora Wat, a slow-cooked chicken stew that's a household favorite. It's a dish that requires patience and skill, much like the Ethiopian way of life. The chicken is marinated in a blend of spices, simmered in a rich sauce and served with injera. 
The result is an explosion of flavors that will leave you craving for more. But Ethiopian cuisine isn't just about food, it's about community. Meals are often eaten from a shared plate symbolizing a bond of loyalty and friendship. It's about coming together sharing stories and creating memories. And then there's coffee, the lifeblood of Ethiopia. Ethiopians regard coffee not just as a beverage but as a ritual, an integral part of their social and cultural life. They've even dedicated a ceremony to it. The coffee ceremony is an event that involves roasting and grinding the beans, followed by three rounds of brewing and serving. It's an experience that engages all the senses. Ethiopian cuisine is a mirror of its culture, rich, diverse, and incredibly inviting. But what about the landscapes that produce these ingredients? Ethiopia isn't just rich in culture and history, it's also a land of stunning natural beauty. Picture this, a country that spans from the rugged peaks of the Ethiopian highlands to the arid plains of the Afar region. This is a place where nature has painted with broad strokes, crafting landscapes that leave you in awe. Let's start with the Simeon Mountains, a natural fortress of jagged peaks and deep valleys. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is often referred to as the Roof of Africa, and it's easy to see why. The breathtaking panoramas from these heights are a sight to behold, ranging from sheer cliffs to vast plateaus. But the Simeon Mountains aren't the only place where nature has shown its might. Venture into the Danakil Depression, one of the hottest places on Earth, and you'll find a landscape that seems more Martian than terrestrial. Its sulfur springs and lava lakes create a surreal, otherworldly beauty. And let's not forget the Bale Mountains, home to the largest tract of Afro-Alpine habitat in the whole of Africa. Here you'll find the Ethiopian wolf, the world's rarest canid, along with mountain niala and myriad bird species. Yet, Ethiopia's natural beauty isn't confined to its mountains. Journey to the south, and you'll find the Omo River region, a lush, tropical paradise teeming with wildlife. From crocodiles basking on the riverbanks to vibrant bird life flitting through the canopy, this is a haven for nature lovers. But these landscapes aren't just beautiful, they're critical habitats for a diverse range of wildlife. Conservation efforts are essential to preserving these natural wonders for future generations. Ethiopia's national parks such as Simeon and Awash play a key role in these efforts, protecting species from the Walia ibex to the Ethiopian wolf. From its towering peaks to its arid deserts, Ethiopia's landscapes are as diverse as its culture. This is a country that invites you to explore, to discover, and to stand in awe of nature's grandeur. It's a place where every vista tells a story, a place that truly is a world apart. Ethiopia may be a country frozen in time but it's also one that's rapidly modernizing. This is a nation that's beautifully balancing the preservation of its rich past while embracing a promising future. As we journey through this land we encounter a world that's both ancient and contemporary. Ethiopia is a testament to the power of progress. It's a land where towering skyscrapers rise above cobblestone streets, where the age-old art of coffee brewing coexists with burgeoning tech startups. The nation's capital Addis Ababa is a thriving metropolis, a testament to Ethiopia's booming economy. Yet, even in the midst of such growth, Ethiopia remains deeply rooted in its past. Culture, history, and tradition are not lost in the shuffle of progress. They are in fact, the lifeblood of this vibrant society. From the ancient rock-hewn churches of Lalibela to the medieval castles of Gondar, Ethiopia's historical treasures are meticulously preserved and deeply revered. They serve as a constant reminder of the nation's rich history and its enduring spirit. Equally impressive is the thriving art scene. Ethiopian art, both ancient and contemporary, is experiencing a renaissance, with local artists gaining international recognition. Their works, deeply influenced by Ethiopia's history and culture, bridge the gap between the past and the present, between tradition and modernity. The tourism industry too is on the rise. Visitors from across the globe are drawn to Ethiopia's stunning landscapes, historical sites and vibrant culture. The country's commitment to sustainable tourism ensures that its natural and cultural treasures are preserved for future generations. As we've discovered, Ethiopia is truly a place where the past coexists with the present, a land of ancient traditions and modern ambitions, frozen in time yet ceaselessly moving forward. This is Ethiopia, a country that's as timeless as it is progressive, a nation that's not just preserving its past but also boldly embracing its future.